Hello! <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I have yet to find an intro that I like. So for the past six days, I have kind of challenged myself. I've given myself a little challenge, will you say, of only spending three hours on my phone daily. Um, some of you that are not spending a lot of time on your phone. As soon as I started recording, my mom is messing around in the kitchen. I think she's going to make breakfast. It's early in the morning and um, I just, I want to film right now. So any background noise, I'm very sorry for that, but I'm still going to do it. So. For the past six days, as I said, I have challenged myself to only be on my phone for three hours per day. And that's a lot for me because I usually spend six to seven hours on my phone. And three hours was really, really hard for me these past six days. So it was an hour limit on Instagram that I went over almost every single day, an hour on Snapchat that I went over maybe like two times, and then another hour, you know, for like, anything else. The only things that didn't count were camera time because I was filming and any calls I had to make. So like if someone called me on Snapchat or Instagram, I have to take those calls so they don't count. There's like some like examples of that where it did happen. I didn't really think that was going to happen. Wednesday was the first day and it was really hard. I'm sorry about the noise, but I want to do this. <laughs> I'm going to do it right now. The first day was actually really hard. I spent the morning trying to find anything to do but be on my phone and I kind of wasn't successful half of the time. The afternoon we went out to run errands. We were out for quite some time, more than usual. We we're usually always in the house. So that kind of kept me busy and off my phone until I realized how boring car rides are and I wanted to get on my phone like the whole time. But when we got home is like when the real challenge started. I had an extremely challenging time like watching YouTube or like scrolling on my phone. Like that's always been an issue for me. Like I've built this habit where I have to scroll or I have to watch a YouTube video when I'm eating or it just doesn't feel right. I feel really bored and it's like something that I need, something that needs like fixing. The only thing that really helps me not stay on my phone is putting it on like do not disturb, school mode, personal mode, work mode, whatever. Um, and I actually just barely, just barely went under the limit of three hours. It was like a solid 6 out of 10 because I know I could have done so much better, but um, it was the first day, so <laughs> it's okay. Day one was hard, but day two was even harder. I don't know what it is about Thursday that I just absolutely felt like I was going to die, honestly. Um, I did go over my limit of three hours, and I only really went over it by 38 minutes if you like take off camera time and like all that stuff. I know I could have stayed within limit on Thursday if I had just not mindlessly scrolled on Instagram, but I don't know, man, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so Thursday was also like, I was in a lot of calls on Snapchat that day, but most of the time on Snapchat was actually just going through all the stories, just because because I was bored and I didn't want to do anything else. I definitely thought of quitting and just like scrapping the video and like doing something else on Thursday because I was not happy about it at all. So I definitely give that day like a five or even a four, four out of 10. Just not a good day at all. Friday, it was a good day. I don't know what change in the atmosphere that actually went under my limit <laughs> so 30 minutes I subtracted from snapchat because I was on a call and you know I had to answer 
and then eight minutes are subtracted from the camera and you know camera time doesn't count because i was filming for this video <laughs> on friday i felt very focused like i felt like i avoided my own scrolling and doing so at night i felt like really good about myself not just because i had sticked within the challenge but also because I don't know, I wasn't wasting my time and I didn't feel like that impending grossness after you just scroll for hours. So, 8 out of 10, successful day. 8 out of 10, almost a 9, great. <laughs> Saturday might be the best day in terms of screen time, but it was actually the worst day. I, I woke up with like an impending sense of doom and I'm not joking. Like, I woke up, had no motivation to do anything um my body felt very heavy my head hurt i felt very like gross that was my mom <laughs> i felt horrible and like mentally everything was just like not good so i avoided being on my phone because i was in bed all day i only started like feeling normal around like 6 p.m and that's when i like forced myself to read or like relax outside of my room because i felt like i really was dying a little bit on the inside screen time 9 out of 10 i did the best my actual day 3 out of 10 it was horrible i hated it saturday was a pending doom that was just not it not it Sunday, on the other hand, was worse. Sunday, which is two days ago, it was the same thing on Saturday. I felt horrible. Why? I'm not sure. Like, mentally, physically, emotionally, I just felt like, blah. But instead of avoiding my phone, I absolutely consumed it. From the moment I woke up, from the moment I went to sleep, I was scrolling, I was like procrastinating on my phone. The only thing, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, that got me off of my phone and into the shower, which is gross because I hadn't showered any day before that. Okay, was that I had been on my phone all day, hadn't eaten, hadn't showered, hadn't really cleaned my room, <laughs> but then the door opens and I hear my mom and I literally got up and ran to the bathroom and jumped into the shower because <laughs> I didn't want her to like, Think I hadn't done anything all day. It was bad. Sunday was like an actual mess. It was not good. And even like towards the end, I gave up entirely. Like 100% gave up and was like scrolling on my phone and didn't check my screen time at all. So Sunday was like not good. Monday, Monday was yesterday. So I remember Monday the clearest. I stayed right to the tip of, that's not the right word. I stayed like right under my limit. It was a fine day. Like I didn't have any of like those weird things that happened to me in the weekend, but uh, it was really hard to not be on my phone today. I had to find any distraction. Having like a really hard time not being on my phone. I tried reading for a little bit. I read a good amount. Um, I don't know what to do now. I could do homework, but I'm not going to. So, I'm like trying to look for something to do. I don't know. Anything to keep me on my phone. I read, I painted, I journaled, I like made food, I I just felt this need to be on my phone, but I didn't let myself do that. I went over my Instagram limit, I'm pretty 100% sure, um, but that's like normal for me because I post and stuff and like I edit on Instagram, so whatever. The thing about yesterday is that I knew that my screen time was getting better I had less of a craving to be on my phone, but it was still very hard not to be on it and like not want to be on it, as I said, you know, but I did distract myself. I spent a whole afternoon journaling and watching TED talk videos, which I 
I've been wanting to do for such a long time and I was like well I can't be on my phone so why not just start it that was like a, a really good trend that I saw this week that I can't be on my phone so might as well start this thing that I've been wanting to do might as well start painting might as well start journaling might as well start self-educating this stuff that I've been wanting to do for literally weeks I've now started to do because I was like well I can't be on my phone because my screen was taking up so much time and was really consuming a lot of time where I could have been doing other stuff but I didn't want to because I was being lazy or procrastinating or just addicted to my phone. My phone usage went down by 51% so I cut it in half. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep those trends but I'm definitely going to keep the 3 hour limit in mind forever. I felt really good on Friday. I don't know what happened in the weekend. I'm like literally gonna subtract that from my mind, gonna delete it. But on Friday, I felt very whole. Like I didn't feel need to be on my phone. I felt good. And yesterday I felt good at the end of the day. Like I was like, I did that. And I didn't need my phone for any of it. So in conclusion, it was like pretty successful, may I say. This challenge, I would encourage you to do it. Look at how many hours you're spending on your phone now and split it in half and see if you can do that for a week. And if you can't, maybe do a fourth of that. Then every week, cut it in half. I would say like a healthy amount would be three hours, at least for me. I know that's good because I spend about like an hour and 30 minutes on average on Instagram editing, um, posting, making reels, also just being on Instagram. You know, social media is part of our life. We can't really get rid of that now unless you're really dedicated to it and don't mind not having social media, which I do mind. So I will not be deleting it but limiting your time is good. Then you can prioritize why you're actually on Instagram. Is it because you're posting stuff? Is it because you're interacting with people? Is it because you message people on there or because you like just scrolling and saying pretty stuff? Um, you kind of figure out why you're on a certain platform. When I'm on Snapchat, it's either to message literally one person, my boyfriend, or to procrastinate and just go through a bunch of stories. So that's not good. I know uh, I've developed kind of like a bad relationship with Snapchat because I go to it whenever I'm bored or don't wanna do anything. And Instagram, I've gotten better at it. So it'll make you realize why you're on an app and maybe you'll find room to do other stuff. And that's the goal, at least for me. At the end of the week, I was like, I've achieved and done so many things that I didn't think I was going to be doing, but it makes sense. How do I end the video? Well, no longer did you just call me. I gotta go eat breakfast.